Well guys, we've now all seen the first trailer for the fourth Avengers movie, Avengers Endgame. It didn't give much away, but it was enough to get fans even more excited for it. And it did have a zinger at the end. While most people knew Paul Rudd Scott Lang would be appearing in the movie, it was cool to see him in the trailer's final scene, given that he missed out on Infinity War. He obviously escaped the Quantum Realm, where he was stranded at the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp. And in this video, we'll theorize exactly how he managed it. Whatever you do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's the best way of keeping up to date with all of Screen Rant's great new videos. That's right, Scott Lang appeared at the end of the Avengers Endgame trailer on a screen being viewed by Steve Rogers and Natasha Romanoff, appearing to be outside of what we assume is the Avengers headquarters in upstate New York asking to be buzzed in. His arrival surprised Rogers and Romanoff to say the least. Given they'd assumed he'd been dusted when Thanos erased half of all life in the universe in Avengers Infinity War, Lang had driven there in the same brown van that housed the miniature quantum tunnel scene in the mid credit scene of Ant-Man and the Wasp. So it looks as though he reappeared in the normal world in the same location we saw in that scene, then drove straight to see the Avengers. So just how does Lang escape from the Quantum Realm in Avengers Endgame? Well, there are three main theories regarding how it might happen. And without further ado, let's delve straight into them for your viewing and listening pleasure. The first theory is one that's been doing the rounds for quite some time, but it's one that seems less likely now that we've seen the trailer. And it's the theory that Captain Marvel will rescue him from the mysterious subatomic plane. We've been told the Captain Marvel movie will feature the Quantum Realm, which leads us to believe Carol Danvers' powers will be linked to it in some way, or at least suggests that she knows about it and might be able to access it. Perhaps Nick Fury knew about future events, possibly because of Doctor Strange traveling back in time to lay the foundations of the plans to defeat Thanos. And that might be the main reason he sent a message to Brie Larson's character in the Avengers Infinity War post credit scene. It's quite possible that back in the 90s, Doctor Strange or even the Ancient One made contact with him and told him about future events. He may then have told Captain Marvel that if he ever paged her, she needed to head to the Quantum Realm and rescue a man named Scott Lang in order to save the universe. Universe. It's a far-fetched and extremely convoluted idea, but it's a comic book movie, so it's certainly not impossible and we shouldn't rule it out. However, the one thing that makes it seem unlikely is that Paul Rudd's character was on his own in the trailer. Had it been Captain Marvel who had rescued him, you have to imagine he'd have been with her. The next possibility, which is at least slightly more likely than the Captain Marvel idea, is that Doctor Strange will be the one who personally rescues Scott Lang from the Quantum Realm. When Strange went forward in time in Avengers Infinity War, he saw 14 million 605 possible futures, and he said the heroes of the MCU only came out on top in one of them. Given that he discovered those odds, he would surely want to do whatever he could to ensure that one victorious future came to fruition, not least to ensure he didn't ultimately end up being erased from existence permanently. Maybe in that one future, he saw how important Scott Lang was, and given that he had the time zone in his possession at the time, he might have headed into the past to help Lang out. Strange could, for example, have traveled back to before Lang got trapped in the Quantum Realm and told him how to get out. Or his assistance might have been even more hands-on. Given that sorcerers in the MCU can travel to other realms, we've seen them do it with the Mirror Dimension for example, he might have headed into the Quantum Realm and pulled Lang out himself. Given that Strange looked into the future, and given that it looked like Lang emerged from the Quantum Realm a short time after Thanos infamously snapped his fingers, Strange might have actually headed into the future while he was on Titan and rescued Lang before heading back to Titan to ensure events transpired as they needed to for that one successful future to unfold. Gee whiz, this is so complicated. Of course, the final possible way, and by far the most likely way, in which Scott Lang will escape from the Quantum Realm is to simply do it himself. In the aforementioned mid credit scene of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Janet Van Dyne warned Lang not to get sucked into a time vortex, because they'd be unable to save him if he did. Without any other options, Lang might purposely go into one in the hope that it brings him back into the normal world. Given that the Avengers Endgame trailer leads us to believe Lang reappears in the not-too-distant future, Future, the time vortex he enters may fortunately simply project him into a post-snap world when the surviving heroes are still looking for a way to undo Thanos' actions. There's an additional theory that suggests quantum energy is actually the green energy that powers the time stone, so maybe Doctor Strange had traveled into the past and taught Lang how to manipulate it. The Infinity Stones seem to react to their wielder's wishes, so if Lang was surrounded by green energy and simply wished to appear
appear in the not-too-distant future, his wish might come true in Endgame. Regardless of how Lang escapes the Quantum Realm, the important thing is he definitely does. He's undoubtedly going to be an incredibly important character in Avengers Endgame, and his re-emergence into the world is likely to signal the start of the fight back against Thanos. He'll be able to tell the likes of Steve Rogers, Bruce Banner, and potentially Tony Stark about the Quantum Realm and its ability to manipulate time. And together with other powerful characters like Captain Marvel and Thor, he'll play a big part in kicking the Mad Titan's purple butt. It's quite ironic, and in a way quite fitting, that having insulted Spider-Man by calling him an insect in Avengers Infinity War, Thanos' big victory will be undone thanks largely to the actions of a guy who goes by the name Ant-Man. Whew, that was exhausting. Does anyone have any orange slices? How do you think Scott Lang escaped the Quantum Realm? Will any of these theories turn out to be true? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Screen Rant for more great videos like this one. Catch you guys later.